today's episode, I'll be talking about exactly what the title says, my score. I did my exams a few years ago, and when I did them, in section 1 I got 6.2, in section 2 I got 6.2, and in section 3, the essay section, I got a score of 3. Now, if I remember correctly, my score of 6.2 was in the top 13%, and my section 2 score of 6.2 was in the top 10%. Now I'm sure you're wondering how I worked out my ranking amongst other candidates. But once exam results are published, the BMAT consortium publishes a document which breaks down all the results of that year. And if you didn't know, the BMAT marks are scaled using a normal distribution curve. So by using a score as well as this normal distribution curve, you can kind of work out whereabouts you came amongst others. Now back when I was revising, I was aiming for at least 6.5s in both sections. Now depending on your standards, 6.5 may be low or may be high, but back when I was revising, 6.5 was an amazing score, and I wanted to get at least this score because I thought with such a score I could put forward a really strong application to Cambridge. So given my aims for the BMAT, when I opened my results I wasn't over the moon, but I soon realised that the scores that I had got wouldn't change, and that I'd put in so much hard work having used Medify, the ISC book, the Uni Admissions book, having gone through so much doing all the past papers and all of that, I was just hoping that the scores I'd received would convey to admissions tutors that I'd really tried my hardest and that that was the best of my abilities. However, in the end, I received offers from both UCL and Cambridge, the BMAC universities I applied to. Of course, in hindsight, I realised that 6.2, 6.2 is actually a really good score and back in the day I should have been more appreciative of it. But I guess as a sixth form student, having put so much pressure on myself, it was kind of disappointing to not have achieved what I wanted to achieve. But nevertheless, I didn't lose hope. After I got my results, I continued working really hard for my interviews because I realised once I finished the BMAT, there was nothing I could do to change the score. The next key thing that I could control would be my interviews and my performance at interviews. So here are a few things that I think you should really work on when you're revising for the BMAT, particularly to help you try and achieve the goals that you have for this exam. Do all the section 1 questions you can. Make use of question banks such as Medify, use the ISC book, use all the past papers and do lots of questions. Because with section 1, the only way you can improve is by doing more and more practice. Number 2. I recommend that you go through all of your GCC sciences in addition to your AS syllabi. Because back in the day when I did my section 2, after the exam I realised how many silly mistakes that I'd made. So what you should realise is that section 2 is based purely on what you know. So if you manage to revise everything and have a solid foundation and everything to do with section 2, you can easily get a really high mark. But to do that, you just have to sit down with your textbooks and grind it out. And lastly, number three, practice writing essays. Because in the exam, you'll have half an hour to write an essay that's a whole page long. Now do remember, this half an hour includes planning time. So by practicing writing essays, you'll get not only good at planning, but also you'll get really fast at writing in a short period of time, both in a concise and intellectual manner. So to finish off, I recommend that you use as many resources as possible. In particular, a personal recommendation of mine is Medify.co.uk. I first began using this website for my UK cat, and now they've got a fantastic section on the BMAT, where they have loads of section 1 questions, section 2 questions, and the questions on Medify are designed to be very similar to past paper questions. So once you're out of past papers, just hop into Medify and do loads of questions. Now in addition to Medify, there are loads of other websites, but the best thing about Medify is how it gives you detailed feedback on your progress. Now in hindsight, when I was revising for the BMAT, I wish that I'd looked back more at the mistakes that I'd made. Had I scrutinised my mistakes a bit more and learned from those mistakes, I may have not made as many silly errors in the actual exam. So make sure to use resources like Medify, use the ISC medical book, use Uni Admissions, go to BMAT Ninja, Use all these fantastic resources and use your ability, your enthusiasm and your motivation to get the best mark possible because the BMAT is the last exam that you need to do before your medical interviews. So you might as well just smash it out as hard as you can. So thanks for watching guys. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you'd like to keep up with more videos, make sure to subscribe. And last but not least, make sure to keep up with the Ace the BMAT series. So take care guys and I'll see you in the next video.